Hello there, this is Jetty Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we completed the quiz, which means we are now ready to actually fight the actual final boss up these stairs. Suddenly, the music gets all sinister. You might recognize this scene from the opening cutscene. I liked how they did that. And we can activate this little guy here, just to bridge the gap. And then, if you want to actually get. Wait, is there something up here? I don't remember. Oh, there's an extra life. Not really needed, but oh well. Got a note door here with a mighty 810 notes. You do actually need quite a lot to get the full ending. You go through it, and that's not all. Then you have another jigsaw, pe jigsaw to complete. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. Yeah, you need a lot of jiggies for this. See, I've got 31 now. This goes all the way down to six. It's 25 jiggies. I'm sad to say down there you'll stop. Because I'm safe here at the top. At least I managed to open the door. Also, in here you find it's the machine with one of one of Grunty's gruntlings. Let's kill him because he's being a dick. That ugly bear, you feather freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. Well, that's not very nice. Either way, so now we can actually get up here into this room where we find a whole bunch of note doors and the, the pot guy. Phew! What a disgusting smell! Ooh, visitors for Dingpot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Ah, oh, what a strange buddy thing, me. Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. Ew! If you can get rid of her, I'll be. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? And I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash in and I'll fire up. Oh, God. Do I have to jump in there? No way, Dingbox. Come on, Zuri. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. Hmm. First off, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of note doors around here. And you might be wondering what they're for, but... Basically, each of them has a thing inside to restore all of your of all of your resources. Like this one has all the eggs. This one here, that's the gold feathers. But I'm gonna open them in number order because I'm weird like that. It's not really weird, but you know, this one's got feathers. And you're gonna need all all of these items for the boss battle. So it is actually very useful that they are actually here. This one gives you the gold feathers. But there's one more, and there's no other resources, so so what could the last one be? Well, actually, the last one's very special. You open it, and... Oh, look, this is a tunnel into a room. What happens when we go in here? We get a jigsaw piece. Uh, just, just not a jigsaw piece, a jigsaw puzzle. To which we need to fill with four pieces. What happens when you get this? Well, it's an empty honeycomb piece. This actually doubles your health. Yeah, so now we have 16 hits, which is actually really useful for this boss battle because it's actually rather difficult. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a barren bird. Well, shut up, where can I come for you now? Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. Yeah, you say that as we jump in. Thanks for that. Ugh. And here we go. Here's the boss battle. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle will test your skill and might. And here we go. Here's the here's the boss battle, which is actually really rather difficult from what I remember. But like, starts off quite easy. You've got to run to the keep running to the side while she charges down, and eventually her thing will start spotting you. Just oh, ow! Fuck! You need to rat tat tat her. Oh, I, I didn't read that. <laughs> I didn't read it in time. Fuck. Oh, well. This goes charging. Oh, Make sure you start the rat tat tat before you touch her this time. Otherwise, you got to watch out there. They're actually quite... They predict where you're going to go with your movements. So the fireballs are actually harder to dodge than you might first think. Come on. Is that... Cool. There we go. There we go. Okay, nicely dodged. Dodge to the side. Oh boy! It always looks like it's gonna get really close, but it seems to be alright most of the time. Oh, other than that, yeah, okay. 
There we go. There we go. See the spell? I'll think you're fine. Its target will be your behind. The only way to dodge this attack is to use the invincibility. That's the only way to do it. This boss running rather rough. I'll have to move to make it tough. Now these want this bit is the pain in the ass because you have to like wait and shoot her with eggs. There we go. Arg, oh, I'm slow with all this lard. That egg of yours caught me off guard. Yeah. You have to be careful though because like She's quite quick with her fireballs. Come on. Oh, God! Almost, almost. Shit! Okay. It's fine. Job done. There we go. Nicely done. Over to the next one. It gets a, bit, a little bit harder each time. Just gonna throw fireballs more often. Fuck. Oh, God! Okay, I got, got over two of them. Just need one more hit then. Shit, that messed it up. Yeah, I messed that completely. Okay. Oh! Just dodged that. Okay, it should be one more. One for each side of the castle. It'd be nice if I could align the... Wait, can I? Yeah, oh yeah, I can use... I f almost forgot I have the R button thing. That was a... How did that not hit me? I'm not complaining, but... <laughs> cool. Is that done? Use this ability again. Now oh, I'm into the air, leaving Banjo stuck way down there. Hey Banjo, the old hag's taken to the air. This fly pad should be of some help. Thank you very much. I don't actually need that health thing, so... Just not be careful. So what you need to do is try and line it up and get... <laughs> not that. But be really careful and not fall off, because you will instantly die if you go too low. Oh god. There you go, have a hit. Yeah, oh, that beat gave me a jolt, so you can have this lightning bolt. That looked more like a, um... Oh dear. A fire bolt to me, but whatever. Come on then. Just line it up. Ah, oh, she dodged it. Fuck. Oh god. Ooh. Come on, line it up, and... Ah, oh, just missed. Just missed. Just wait for her to stop or get into a position where I can see hit her. Okay. Come on. Oh no, she dodged it! Fuck. It's a bit annoying to land these hits. Come on. Oh, so close. Where's she gone? There she is. Come on. Oh, just under. God, watch out. This can be a right pain in the arse sometimes. There we go. There's one more hit. Okay. Ah, no, that's not it at all. Come on. Oh, God, watch out. Fucking hell. Be really careful about this. Don't want to end up... No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. It's not as... It's actually a bit harder than it looks. But I got her there. Cool. I think one more hit should do that. Oh, God. That's not a good idea. I've got loads of feathers though, so it's not too too bad. Okay, uh, wait for her to just kind of. There we go. Okay, that's that. Oh, maybe maybe it's another. Maybe I need another hit then. Oh no, never mind. I may be old and rather white, but underneath the spell I'll hide. Yeah, now she's got a shield. I think you have to hit her once before the. Th the uh, oh fuck! Damn. D oh shit. I think you just actually just need to laugh. There, here we go. Grunty captured us Jinjos. Now we come for our revenge. Useless Jinjo, sneer and hoot. Go back right now. Taste my boot. They look like statues to me. Oh god. See so what you got there? You gotta like feed it with eggs and the Jinjo hatches from stone or something. I'm not sure how that works. And they attack the shield. Like so. Hey, that Jinjo really hurt. I'll now rub you in the dirt. You see what I mean with the... She tries to predict where you're... Where you're going to be. So the fireballs actually head towards where you're going to be, not where you actually are at the time. So it's a lot easier to be hit by them than you might think. Ooh! Just dodged it in time. Cool. Oh god. Okay, one more Jinjo. Oh, don't rotate the camera. Now. Oh, god damn it. Another hit. I can't believe you didn't dodge. Why don't you weave? That's what I'm trying to do, but the camera was spinning around. 
Oh, and there's that Jinjo. That's all four Jinjos. Come on. Oh, God. There we go. Well, use the broomsticks I can't stand. It's left me stranded back on land. Yep, so now she's not got any anything. So now he's got to dodge her for a while until a certain thing happens. Uh-oh, you've got to watch out. She does that attack quite often now. Just keep dodging for a bit. Now, here we go. I am the mighty Gingerinator. Activate me. That's no good, you stupid jerk. The Ginger statue will not work. You want to bet? Oh, God. Dodge that. You always got to be careful when she does the homing attack. Okay, let's fill that one. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh! <sighs> Fuck. Fucking hell, why did that? The camera keeps messing up on me. Ah, it doesn't normally do this. Come on. Christ. Chris, oh, oh, it's the special one. Just one more to go. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, that's it, that's the, that's it done, that's done. It's the Ginger Niter. Ginjo! Ginjo! It's a robot, I guess it's like a robot, I guess it's like a Terminator thing or something, isn't it? Ginger Niter, that would make sense, yeah. Very slowly spinning. And I'm sure she's getting, she's probably shitting her pants right now. And gets a brutal assault from this guy, just keeps barging into her. I could take these shots all day, there's no way I'm going to sway. Doesn't sound like she's really doing that good with it, but... Oh god. <laughs> Poor old Grunty, set to fall. Upon the spell, oh now cool. You missed. Unlucky. Oh well. And now she falls. No! And then the rocks fall as well. Okay, and splat. Makes a big hole in the ground and oh, now there's a rock over her. Grunty's fate, this should not be. So hurry, Klungo, rescue me. I somehow doubt Klungo's gonna be able to help you with that, I'm afraid. You're gonna be under there for a long time. Give it, I'd say maybe, give you maybe two years. Two years, that's what I'd say. Cool. So now we get this ending sequence. And we have some woman carrying some watermelons. Hmm. Ski 1000. Whoa, hey! It's King Blubber. Then, I think Mumbo's going to come down and tell us something, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, this is great. Have we finished now, Tootie? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that, Shorty? I'm a hero. Hmm, yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thanks, Goyles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. Again? Really? God damn it. Thing part! At least he was nice enough to send us up there. Klungo! Guess he was kind of not a good guy after all. It's Topper! Carrot Topper. Ha ha ha. And then we got Ball, the onion. Oh, I get it, because cr I just got that. I just got that joke right now. Collie Wobble. I literally got Ball, because he's an onion, which makes you cry, and balling is another word for cry, and it's also a ball shape. I literally just got that. The quarry, the rock. Gruntlings, you know, they were a bit of a pain in the ass, but I mean, easy enough to deal with. And tickers, you know, the bloody termites. 
Big Oh, Big Butt's the bull. I'm not sure why I called him Big Butt, but a little grublin there. I think they use the grublin like three times or something. I've got the uh, leaky, which is the uh, the little bucket we managed to fill. We got lock up. Oh yeah, those chests. Those were annoying. Oh, and the, oh yeah, little lock up. The one who had the cheeky but you know, was just being a right pain and annoying. Yum yum. Those guys who they try to seal our eggs and feathers and stuff. Snip it. Oh yeah, those little guys. At least they gave me two health whenever I killed them. Uh, shrapnel. Oh yeah, the little mine that wanted to blow itself up or something. Oh, Snacker. That annoying shark guy. Oh, yes, got Gloop. He was actually really useful. Maybe be able to breathe under with help and clank her out. Grill Chomper. Yeah, there are chompers. I thought that's what they were called. Oh, the Mutant Snippet. Oh, Mutee Snippet. Yeah. I mean, there it pretty much the same as regular snippets. Whiplash. Oh, Croctus, the guy who kept like changing his eye colour to get more eggs from us. <laughs> Flibbit. Random red guy. The gold ones were annoying. Buzz bomb. That's what they that's what the uh, dragonflies are called. I just call them dragonflies. The tipped up choir, those were annoying because I hate memory games. Hey, it's Groggy, and then Moggy, Soggy, and then Moggy, I think. Yeah, I was right. I'm not sure which one's which. Oh yeah, the Twinkies. Those were uh, managed to help them get into the into the tree. I stopped being the Twinkly Munchers from eating them actually. Funnily enough. Oh god, Sir Slush, the snowman, guys. Pain in the ass. Chinka. Guess, guess it's the noise they make when they break, so... Ch <laughs> Chinksy sneezing. Oh yeah, the ancient ones, the ones who tried to say, Hey, you can beat the game, but no, they were just kidding. Grabber. Yeah, he really wants the... Uh, Took, took his jiggy and then I guess the slappers and oh no, scabby, guess yeah scarab or whatever. And there's slapper, slap the camera. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh yeah, mum mum, mum 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 me now. Oh yeah, his start the guy who helped us up top of the to get the jiggy up there. Oh yeah, Mozart, very nice music playing guy. Oh yeah, Tumblr. Not to be confused with Tumblr. Oh god. <laughs> Sudden, suddenly, portrait chomper. Yeah, oh, there's Teehee. Yeah, I thought that's what they were called. I'm surprised at how many of them actually knew the name of. Limbo. I didn't actually know that's called Limbo. I don't know if really run into him too much. Oh fuck. Ah! Uh, oh, that's Ripper. Okay, that makes sense. Nibbly, oh that's the name of the bats. They're, they're kind of weird though, they look like... What's the sure. Boombox, gonna blow himself up isn't he? Yep. And then of course Boss Boombox. So, you know, a lot bigger. Just split into multiple parts. Grimlet, that's what they're called. I like the noise they make, the uh, sound. Flop Sam. Okay. I never would have got that name. <laughs> It is the yeah, semen grublin. Yep. Oh, what's the name of the fish? Chomp. I guess, kind of, it sounds like chomp, which is kind of what they do to you, I guess. Snare bear, that's it. Snare bear, not bear trap. Wow. And fucking big clucker. What a fucker. Oh yeah, the zubbers, they were, they were interesting to deal with. Just easy enough using the gold feathers. Grublin Hood. Oh, Grublin Hood because Robin Hood. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, the whip cracks. Those, yeah. There's still a jiggy there. That's annoying me because I already collected it. The cheetah, the guy who gave us all those nice little, um. Oh, okay, what have we got now? Mumbo, got anything to tell us? We've got that woman again. 
No idea where she randomly comes from, it's just completely out of nowhere. Oh, hi, Mumbo, what's up? Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Oh, what's that? Dice one, Bone Brain. What's on them? Got pictures of things you missed. Wait, what? Secrets used in next game. But, but I. Ooh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great. So let's see the pictures then, skirt boy. It's actually, um... Oh, did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? <laughs> did I get all 100 jigsaw pieces? Of course I did. We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secret mask widget. Pictures show things you missed. I didn't miss anything. Secrets that are for a new game. Banjo-Tooie. Oh, Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie. Sounds great. Is it any good? Well, actually, it's pretty good, yeah. Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. Oh? Hey, wait, why isn't it called Banjo-Kazooie-Tooie? I better be in it, too. Short stuff. Banjo Tooie make Banjo Kazooie look like joke. Mumbo show you pictures of stuff can use at New Game. Here, take a look. I kind of disagree. I much prefer Banjo Kazooie to Banjo Tooie. It's still good though. Oh, oh wow, the image is a bit fucked up. Right, first secret on the beach. Hey Shorty, how did you make that rock rise up? Basically on. Oh, ha <laughs> Mumbo not telling. Basically, oh, if you have the Xbox version, you can actually get into this area by um. Having Banjo Tooie as well, it unlocks all these areas that it's going to show us off. Bam Bam must climb to the top. What's up there, dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. Not sure why the image is fucked up like that. It looks rather high. Don't worry, Banjo. It looks like I have to get us up there. <laughs> Lazy sod. So yeah, basically you go up here and you're going to find one of the stop and swap items. Which I which we used in Banjo Tooie on the Xbox versions. There it is. There's the egg. There's, there's the stop and swap egg. Okay, and uh, what's the next one you're going to show us? Next secret found in snow. That's Wazza's cave. Oh yeah, it's the uh, the ice key where um, the thing is like broken. We've already been in here. Hey, what was that egg for on the beach? Tell us! And you see this, uh, bird be quiet, watch picture, and you get you get the ice key which you use to unlock a certain special transformation in Magic 2 if you have, um, you, when you use, um, what is it? The Xbox version. Another secret can get in desert, go through just, that, that door's just open, and hey, nice mumbo, please tell us what the eggs and key are for. No, bird root to mumbo. Not tell. You get the blue one. I wonder what's in here. It's another egg. Ha, huh. it's only another. Oh. oh, it just ended. Okay. Wow, how do we get to those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Tooie. Yep. So that's Banjo. That's all done in Banjo Tooie, but they only actually managed to work that into the Xbox version. You can get there in this version. You have to type in a really long code on the um, tr Troco floor, and I don't think it's worth showing because they don't actually do anything unless it's on the Xbox version. So, so yeah, that's Banjo. Because oh, no, wait, a little bit more. Ugh, rock so heavy, but Klungo must rescue Mistress. All the jiggies you did snatch, but I'll be back for my rematch. Maybe in about two years' time, sure. The end. Yep, that's Banjo-Kazooie, which is one of, if not my favourite game of all time. So yeah, before I actually just end it off, I just want to have a look at see how long this game took me, because... I think this is probably the fastest I've ever actually played through the game. That's not the one. This is the one, isn't it? Yep. Six hours! Only six hours! Yep, six six hours, four minutes. That's how... Wow. That's <laughs> really quick, actually. Let me just um have a look in more detail. I actually had a look at this, so... So, yeah. Cool. That's... Yeah. Now... 
Pandru 2 I, I'm not sure whether I want to do it. Because I've never actually finished the game. Because I played Banjo Kazooie as a kid and it's like it has that much to me. I only played Banjo Tui for the first time a few years ago and I've never been able to finish it because it's way harder and I don't know the game too much. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it. It probably depends on how many people actually do want me to, to do it. If a lot of people do, I'll probably end up doing it, but otherwise I'm probably just going to pass on it because I, I, I just don't know the game enough to do an in-depth playthrough like I did with this game. Either way, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.